This is Hashtag Finance, presented to you by the Canadian Securities Exchange, the exchange for entrepreneurs, with your host, Philip Shum. Hi, welcome to another edition of Hashtag Finance. My name is Philip Shum. I'm the Listings Development Director here in Toronto, Canada for the Canadian Securities Exchange. Today, I have Anoush Manzuri, who is Chairman and CEO of First Growth Funds Limited. The ticker symbol is FGFL, that's Frank George Frank Larry, uh, on the CSE. Uh, welcome, Manoush. Thanks for having me. Uh, so you're in uh, um, Melbourne, Australia at this point. Uh, it's early for you, so we really appreciate your time. Um, uh, I'd like for you to introduce the company and tell us a bit about uh, First Growth Funds. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Phil, for, for having me. Uh, First Growth Funds is an advisory and investment company that, that invests across a broad range of asset classes. And we also invest at any stage of the investment cycle, and also in any, any geography. A, a true value proposition is that it typically invests in opportunities that are not readily available to the broader investment community, which gives our shareholders unique access and exposure to our growth opportunities. We also generate fee revenue from our advisory business whilst we incubate our investments. So we're not reliant solely on, on, on crystallizing our investments. We all can also generate uh, fee revenue uh, during the life of those, uh, the, the period that we hold um, our investment uh, uh, in, in our portfolio. Also, want to just uh, quickly mention that we had a, a very strong result for financial year 2020, which is our uh, June 30 year end. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we reported about $2.3 million in, in net revenue. And we also booked about just, a, just under a million dollars in, uh, in net profit after tax as well. So a very strong balance sheet. About $9.1 million in net assets, of which about $4.3 million is in cash, about $4.8 million in, in investments at, at, at cost value, uh, many of which is, is, is quite liquid. So we're in a very strong position to continue that growth uh, moving forward. So you're sitting on $4.3 million in cash right now. So what are the, um, you know, moving forward for investments, what are the types of companies that you like to invest into and what type of structures do you usually take? Yeah, so look, we, we invest across a broad range of um, opportunities and, you know, we're not so much, um, you know, set on a particular type of sector. Um, you know, we're looking for special situation opportunities. So this could be uh, growth capital, acquisition and expansion, or mm -hmm. it could even be acquisition of, of distressed assets. So we endeavour to negotiate a very strong position with favourable valuation in terms to maximise our upside we then leverage our advisory business, which sits in parallel to our investment mandate to add value to the portfolio. And finally, once the investment matures, we're very hands-on on the planning and execution of exiting our investments to ensure we receive the highest possible return on that investment. I want to also add that we have a very clear line of sight to liquidity when we invest. So our goal is to cycle the cash into new investments over time to generate more advisory revenue and uh, investment returns over time. Uh, okay, so moving forward, or rather looking in the, back, in the past, uh, can you give me an example of some of your clients and how you would have worked with them to, to make them successful? Yeah, probably a really good example uh, just recently is we, we acquired a, a private company called Linked. It was developing a, a supply chain a solution. It was a private company. Um, it was a bit of a distressed asset. We actually only paid nine hundred and forty dollars for that for that investment. And uh, six months after we acquired it, we sold that business to a listed company uh, for nine hundred thousand dollars in shares. And then wow. six months later, in April this year, actually right in the middle of COVID, we we sold out of that company and banked one point four two million dollars cash profit. So it's a really good example of a company that and an opportunity that, that's not really readily available out there in the investment community. We were very active investment managers. We got involved in that company. We structured it. We, we corporatized it. We found the target. We executed a sale. And then we waited patiently for the window to, to exit our holding. And we, we did a very well, uh, you know, very good return in that, that opportunity. 
So it really sounds like you're very much like a public venture capital fund, uh, like a publicly listed uh, venture capital fund, which means that you will likely have very good relationships to go find great opportunities. So, um, so from, a, from a management standpoint, I suspect you have a good amount of individuals who have a lot of subject matter expertise. So can you talk to me a bit, bit about who's on your board and what your management looks, looks like? Yeah, so all, all the directors um, have successfully sat on all sides of the negotiating table, having been founders, advisors, and mm -hmm. investors. Um, and, and between us, we have very good coverage across different industry sectors. And we've got capital marks experience, M&A experience. We are a small team, but we have a very low cost model and we have great capability internally and also very strong personal networks um, not only just to add value to our portfolio, but also if we need to seek additional funding and bring co-investors into these opportunities, we can also facilitate that as well. Okay, uh, and considering you're, you're listed, or rather you're located in Melbourne at this point, so why did you believe that you needed to list in Canada? And, and you know, have you ever worked with other CSE companies? Yeah, so we, we decided to to, to list in Canada because you know we are a we are a global business um, today. We've invested in obviously in Australia, Europe, Asia, Canada, and also United States. We do have a very strong portfolio um, currently sitting in North America, um, both public and and private companies. And we see the CSC as a as a great opportunity to access the public markets and also use that as a launch pad into into the US. Uh, and we also want to support more Canadian companies with, with new investments and, and obviously advisory mandates as well. You know, we've had great success across many, many different sectors. And as mentioned, our mandate is to invest across a broad range of industries, geographies and, and stages of the investment cycle. Um, you know, we particularly like um, companies that are um, they're, they're cash flow generating, they're public, they're small cap, they've got, they're, you know, they're growing, but they've got the blue sky ahead of them. And we like to get take good positions in those in those companies. We also like to get involved in in private companies where we've got a line of sight to an M and A transaction, or we can facilitate and help them to go public. Um, you know, but if I had to pick a sector, you know, really like the the, the fintech sector. We think that's quite transformational. You know, we've had a lot of success there. We actually helped a, a company go public on the CSE early this year called Speed Technologies. That's a company that's generating about $200 million in, in payment processing every year. It books about $8 million in revenue. It's very profitable. It's had about five years consecutive double digit growth. You know, they're the sort of opportunities we like to really get involved in. And what is the ticker on that company? Uh, SQID. SQID, it's Squid Payments? Yep. A A A SQID Payments, okay. That's, uh, that's great, thank you. Uh, so, you know, like, um, Thanks for your time. But moving forward, what should people be looking to expect from FGFL for the next little while? Well, look, we're very, very active uh, investors. Um, you know, we are putting out a, a lot of news flow. We recently invested uh, in a company called Ruru Life, which is a, uh, an e-commerce facilitator for companies in the West, um, in Canada, US and Australia that are expanding, for example, into e-commerce platforms into China. Uh, that's another company that's you know generating a lot of revenue and is moving towards cash flow positive. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we, we we are looking to bring out some additional news flow very shortly, particularly in the fintech and and also in the social media space. So, so stay tuned. Okay, uh, so you know, following up on that, in order for people to stay tuned, how do they do that for uh, First Grow Funds Limited? Obviously, check us out on the CSC uh, website, the profile page, ticket code FGFL, um, and also on our website, firstgrowthfunds.com. If you scroll down to the bottom of the home page, there's a newsletter subscription form. Um, please subscribe there. It's a great way to keep in touch with, uh, with what we're up to. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, so once again, I'm here with Anoush Manzuri from First Grow Funds Limited. He's the chairman and CEO. Thank you very much. This was an excellent interview. Uh, and for similar uh, interviews like this, feel free to please subscribe uh, on the, this, uh, this link uh, on, on the YouTube link down below. This is obviously going to go on to various different uh, formats uh, because it is a podcast. Um, but uh, thank you very much. Once again, it's Philip Shum here 
from the CSC. I'm the Director of Listings Development here in Toronto, Canada, and thanks for listening. Thanks, Anoush. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for having me.